Hello, this is Daniel Thomas Sandra Daly. This is a Noahide sermon. And they sewed fig leaves together. And they sewed fig leaves together. Okay, Genesis 3. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was the light of the eyes, and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate, and she also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate. And the eyes of both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together, and made loincloths for themselves. Okay. Now this is not a sermon on their fall and the knowledge of good and evil. This is not that sermon. This is not that idea. I'm not drawing up those sorts of ideas here. This is a very different, this is a different sermon. Uh, this is on basically uh, clothes, I suppose, or um, sewing. Now we see later, um, after God's given Adam and Eve and the serpent, their rebuke. But uh, he's obviously deemed that clothes of fig leaves not really enough. So, um, and the Lord God in verse 21 of chapter 3, and the Lord God made garments of skin for the man and for his wife and clothed. Garments of skins, sheepskin or something most likely. So, um, what man has done, God, I suppose, improved upon, or did a better effort. So, um, that's a, that's a point in itself. But, um, what we know though, that is that, uh, right at the beginning, they're, they're running around naked in Eden, enjoying the, the fruits of the trees in general, and, uh, it's obviously it's in that Middle Eastern region somewhere around the Euphrates area in the Tigris and it's warm enough weather that they're experiencing because they're naked and then they take in this knowledge of good and evil and um, all of a sudden it's we're naked <laughs> now it's I guess it's their instincts which kick in because they're embarrassed about their nakedness and they so fig leaves together. So what, what what do we know from sewing? I mean, in our world we know that sewing is, you know, you take a needle and cotton and you sew the clothes, sew a patch of the hot clothes. But I'm not so sure if they really have had needles developed yet. And, uh, or cotton. But those ideas are probably not quite around yet. But in some way or another, they're sewing those fig leaves together. So, um, maybe they're tying the stem of the fig leaves to each other, a whole stack of bunch, or, or they're finding some sort of, I don't know, you know, seaweed maybe, if, if there's an ocean nearby, or some sort of long vine or something, and put it, using that for a sort of thing to thread the fig leaves on or something, but somehow or another they're meshing fig leaves together. They're sewing fig leaves together in some way or another to provide clothing for loincloths. Aprons in some translations, loincloths. So this, they're sewing fig leaves together. It's not just a single fig leaf. In, in those lovely Albany pictures that you get, Tradition is that they've got a, a fig leaf down there to hide their genitalia, just a single fig leaf. But it's not; it's it's a, a big bunch of them. They're sewing them together, so making sort of a hula hoop, or one of those uh, those Hawaiian dancer girls, all those lovely things, those dresses down there, skirts. So it's probably a skirt of some kind, which are of, of fig leaves all sewn together to hide their nakedness. 
So basically, um, Adam and Eve, I suppose, invented clothing before God. God did the garments of skin, but um, it was it was naturalist clothing. It was just nature, just what nature had to provide. It was just like their, their first instincts was to go to the, the green grasses and to use them. So that uh, the first impulse of impulse, I suppose, they might have to do a lot of things before that, but as soon as they've got this knowledge of good and evil, they're now having to work with the world and develop things a bit more than just the bare essentials. More than just what the uh, their birthday suit, they have to now hide their nakedness. So there's progress coming along, isn't there, so I suppose. You know. You lose your innocence and then you have to start remedying that, don't you? But God sees it, he's, he's seeing them with their their little aprons of little loincloths of fig leaves and saying, all right, yeah. Yeah, all right. yeah you've eaten the fruit, haven't you? Yeah, pretty much. But he knows that that's not good enough. So God points him in a better direction. It's like his garments of skin and he advances it a bit further. But um, it shows some of the lessons we know that uh, it shows the ingenuity of humans that we do develop things naturally in responses to situations. We develop technology and ideas and inventions and things to help ourselves to cover our shame in many ways, but to help ourselves and to develop our society. So. In the situation we find that since Adam and Eve did eat that fruit, we have to go on developing. Because I suppose we've got some sort of original sin concept. We certainly know as people in this modern era what good and evil is. We can't fool ourselves into thinking we're innocent. We know what good and evil is. So we have to, um, we have the ability with that idea from Adam and Eve that. They make fig leaves together and they develop clothing that we go on and later on with Cain's line how they develop instruments and bronze tools and things. We develop things. So developing life, developing the world. Instead of staying in the innocent state of Garden of Eden running around naked, we develop the world and we go on with things. But it's interesting there that we um, they sewed fig leaves together. They had ideas, they had knowledge, more than just sitting there naked and putting their hands down there, hiding their shame. They did something about it, and probably the best they knew how to do in the situation they were in. And they sewed fig leaves together, didn't they? So they invented sewing, so, you know, I mean, who invented sewing? Adam and Eve invented sewing. And it's interesting, they, they both did it. It wasn't just Eve saying, yes, boss, here's, here's the fig leaves. It says they sewed fig leaves together. So it wasn't just uh, Eve doing it for both of them. It was Adam and Eve doing the work themselves. So uh, they cooperated, I guess, or she was a help me for him or something. Or who knows? But um, they sewed fig leaves together. So that's the origin of sewing. And the human's first impulse was to go to the natural rather than sacrificing an animal for it. It was God gets in, kills the animal, sacrifices the animal, and provides clothing which is far more effective. So bring on the leather jacket. <laughs>